Hi, welcome to Rudy's Pampered Kitchen. Um, today I want to show you with the Pampered Chef Quick Cooker how to quickly cook your beans and lentils and those sorts of things. Um, because beans and, and lentils and legumes are, are awesome things to add to casseroles and soups and salads. Um, but you usually either buy the canned version, which are already cooked and soaking in all sorts of preservatives and chemicals and stuff, which I really prefer to try and stay away from. Um, but then when you're cooking them from scratch, that it, you usually have to rinse and wash them. And then all of a sudden you have to let them soak in a bowl overnight for 24 hours. And then you have to cook them. So it's kind of this long, drawn-out process, but the quick cooker from Pamper Chef makes it so much easier, and I'm going to show you how. So um, different beans and stuff are going to cook at different times, um, like um, your black beans or um, your navy beans are going to need to cook for about 25 minutes. Um, but something similar to like your split peas, like I have some yellow split peas, I have red split peas, and then I have the uh, the green split peas. Um, green, the split peas are only going to need about 10 minutes to cook, um, but your navy beans and your black beans are going to take roughly 25 um, The only thing that's going to kind of take longer is you're going to want to cook chickpeas for about 40 minutes and um, the least is probably your green lentils they only take about five minutes but literally these are still you know the way they come they're a wonderful source of fiber source of iron magnesium um, but they're dry and they're hard and normally you would need to soak those overnight but we're not going to need to do that all you're going to need to do is take the pampered chef um, measuring cup colander i don't know if you can see that there but there is the measurements on it so for about one cup of beans i'm going to do two cups so this is a three cup colander so i'm going to pour about two cups worth of beans You do still want to rinse these before cooking them. So we got two cups of beans in the colander measuring cup. So I'm just going to rinse that as is right in the sink. Just give them a good rinse with cool water. Give them a good shake out so that you're draining all that water off. And you're going to put them right in the quick cooker. And as you can hear by them going in the pot, they're, they're still hard, they're dried. Um, so there's two cups of beans, and then for each cup of beans, you want three cups of water. So because I put two cups of black beans in there, I'm going to put in six cups of water. So our small batter bowl is a four cup measure. So we're going to do that. So there's four cups. I'm going to add that to the pot. Going to add two more cups. And then you're just going to want a, to add two tablespoons of olive oil. So we're just going to do that right now. So there it goes in one tablespoon. And then we're going to put in a second tablespoon. And then we're just going to put 
put the lid on. Just kind of want to double check that that's on there nice and... And then I'm going to bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing. So there's the front. It's got 16 settings. So I'm just going to turn it until it gets to beans. See, it's on beans, and I said black beans are going to cook for about 25 minutes, so it's already set to 25 minutes. We're just going to make sure that all our stuff on top is, this button's up. Um, this one has the little steam icon pointing to the steam button, and your red pin is down. So we've set that on the bean setting, and black beans will cook for about 25 minutes. So we're just going to press start. And that'll pressurize for a couple of minutes and then cook for 25 minutes and you have black beans ready to go. Um, like I said, different kinds of beans um, need to cook for different lengths of time. Um, the navy beans and the black beans both cook for 25 minutes, so you could probably do your batch of both at the same time. Um, like I said, I have three different colors of split peas. I have the yellow, the red, and the green. They all cook for 10 minutes, so you could put them all in together and cook them as one batch. That's fine. Um, so in 25 minutes, I'm going to have great black beans already cooked, ready to go. I can throw some in a, a cold uh, four-bean salad. I can throw some in a casserole, soup stew, whatever. They're ready to go. Um, and I just wanted to um, mention one more thing. Um, you can also do all your greens and stuff in there like that too. Um, so you can do up your big batches of um, stuff like quinoa or uh, the rolled stone oats. Um, things like uh, couscous, um, barley, all that sort of stuff. You can do that all right in here in like half the time it takes to boil it and simmer it on the stove. Um, so that's just a great, wonderful thing. Um, we can come back in 25 minutes and I can show you how this looks coming out. Okay, take care. I hope this was a handy kitchen tip that's going to help you in the future. Um, beans don't have to be uh, complicated or take overnight to make. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.